Feeling is really good, you know, the preparation has been done and uh, we came out of a good series against Afghanistan. So the boys are in uh, very good uh, confident. Uh, I think uh, we are ready to uh, play a good tournament. How about the, the facility? Are you familiar with this facility too? Yeah, of course. Uh, see, uh, we toured a couple of times here and uh, boys have played uh, Bulawayo and Harare, both of the venues. So we are familiar with the conditions and uh, normally the tracks are really good here. So we will enjoy playing cricket here. Uh, first time playing in the qualifiers in 44 years. Do you, are you guys under pressure to make sure that you book your tickets to India? Uh, not actually. See, uh, today the many teams are playing international cricket, so that's the reason. And obviously, we didn't play good good enough cricket. But um, this, uh, actually, this is not the first time we played. Couple of times uh, T20 qualifiers as well. So obviously, there's no pressure. Actually, what we need to do is uh, to control our performance. In this tournament, I feel in the same, and they want to achieve the same. So, I mean, from our point of view, we have to give everybody the respect that they deserve and make sure that we're on the top of our game. We had a great series against Afghanistan, which really helped us. If we can bring that form into this tournament, then we give ourselves the best chance. But I'm expecting some very good cricket. Okay, Coach, you haven't been to Zimbabwe in uh, a few years now. Do you think you guys will struggle maybe uh, acclimatizing to the conditions here, considering that they're different from Asia? Uh, I mean, that's the good thing about obviously training and having these warm-up games so the guys can get used to the conditions, adapt to the conditions, maybe the different wickets uh, that we're playing on. Certainly the different temperature from Hambanto to where we've just come from, which is absolutely red hot. Uh, so actually this temperature is really nice for us. Uh, but it, it really, it's like anywhere, once you go abroad and you're playing in different conditions, there is a, there's a period of time where you have to adapt and obviously we have to adapt quickly to that. Okay, and uh, you guys have uh, a team with the youth and experienced guys. How important is the experience, especially Timoth coming into the side? How crucial will, will he be to... I think everybody plays a crucial role, but certainly the experience in there. Uh, well, they've been through tough times before, they've played in big games before, they bring that like, much experience in there and they help, can help the young, younger ones obviously navigate their way through uh, various games, various situations. But equally, they can be cool heads as well. When things get a little bit tough, they can be a cool head. They can guide us through situations. So <clears throat> we're not just here because of obviously cricket ability. They're here to bring their experience and help share that with the dressing room and the younger guys and create the environment that we want. Uh, there have been some tweets around Sri Lanka guys tweeting that um, when they came to the hotel, they took some time to be checked. Can you give us some information about transparent? Nothing really. There was no basis to that story. Uh, no, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> All right, you. Okay, um, Angelo Matthews, he's not in the team. Uh, what was the reason behind dropping him, considering that uh, you guys had picked him in the past couple of series? It's just unfortunate, really. I mean, obviously, we can only bring 15, so there's some tough decisions to be made. Unfortunately, Angelo was on the, the wrong side of that decision on this occasion. I mean, it's, it's as simple as that, really. Yeah, look, I, I guess the challenge a little bit um, is it's obviously a different time of the year. Um, we were here in summer and, and now it's obviously turned winter. Um, so it'll probably be a little bit drier, but look, I guess um, we've got a week ahead here with a couple of warm-up games as well. Um, and hopefully we can try and you know, get as much information around the conditions, how they evolve and change throughout the day as well. Okay, and are you guys I have PJ Moore who's played here in Zimbabwe almost his half, half of his career. So how important is he to the team? in terms of the knowledge here of Zimbabwean conditions? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, <coughs> Peach is, like you say, he's got some local knowledge um, that, he's, that he's shared and imparted with our group. Um, and we've got some experienced cricketers that's been around the world as well, you know, so it's, it's trying to use all of that information in our group and, and get some of our senior players to be the leaders from us, uh, which is a, you know, a really exciting um, little prospect for us in this uh, next four weeks here in Zim. Okay, and uh, your group, uh, do you feel like it's tough or fair? Yeah, look, it's a, it's it's a challenge, you know. There's some really good sides here, um, and look, qualifiers is a different beast, isn't it? Um, in terms of pressure, there's a lot of pressure on all the teams that are playing, and um, you know, first and foremost, trying to work out the conditions, and then trying to find some matchups, which you know, hopefully, we can do pretty quickly and adapt pretty quickly to the conditions, and then you know, see some individual performances, which will put our team in a good position. Okay, now, important is it for Cricket Island to to book a place to the World Cup? Yeah, look, um, it's, every time you play these big tournaments, um, you know, it's really important. And, and hopefully we can go well this week um, and, and, you know, keep inspiring those 
young Irish lads to uh, want to take up and, and lasses to t take up cricket and um, you know really inspire that next generation.